Jesus! Okay, welcome back to Dying Light. Uh, we're in the middle of trying to kill this demolisher. The reason how come we're getting dropped into the middle of this is because uh, I just want to make a little bit of a headway towards the story mission. <laughs> Before actually, you know, coming back. But then I got into this little fight, and uh, you know what? Oh well. <laughs> but welcome back to Dying Light. We're gonna head over, try to save Jade. Actually, continue the story mission, huh? For a little bit. Although I am a little bit worried. Oh boy. Ah, oh, fuck me. I jumped backwards rather than sideways. So that was just unfortunate. There we go. I can kill these guys so quickly. I have to get to their backside first. But yeah, we're kind of reaching the point where it kind of scares me. Where like everything I do might raise up the percent, the story percentage, way too fast for my liking. I hope <laughs> that there's plenty of story missions left in the game, but uh, I don't know. There are a lot of people who are still complaining. Ah, oh, got me focus on the side stuff too much, even among the parts where you know. I do a story mission, and then I do a side mission. I do a story mission, then I do a side mission. People are still like, oh, you do the, story, the side stuff too much. Like, come on! Give me a break here. Do you see how much there is to do in this game? If there was only a main story, and there was no side missions, the game would be woefully lacking. And I am not the kind of person who says, hey, look at all these side missions that are all across the map. I'm just not going to do any of them. Huh. And I don't want to save it. I'm not going to save, like, 100% of the side missions for once I'm at the end of the game. Especially for this game. Oh, okay, right. I can't go directly into there. Uh, but I definitely want to do it for this game because I've already read reviews where, accordingly, uh, you cannot continue after you've beaten the story. And so that's another factor. This is not one of those games where you beat the story and you get an open world. It just puts you before the main story mission, the final main story mission. And that's just... Eh. <laughs> so... Bear with me, I know there are tons of people who are like, God, oh, whatever, man. Do your side mission stuff. I enjoy watching side missions, and I am really happy about you guys. I'm glad you guys enjoy actually seeing a game played to most of the full extent. I don't care about collectibles that much, so that's how come we're like, I have 4 out of 30 flags, 24 out of 100 statues. I just don't care. I don't, I'm not, I don't really hunt down for that stuff too much. Sometimes I do, it depends on the game, and especially how much worth there is, uh, to get gathering the, the supplies. In fact, the uh, the flags actually give you agility XP, so it wouldn't have been a bad idea for me to grab them, so that way I could level my agility a lot faster. Um, but when a game has like this much actual content to check out, what the fuck happened to these little birds? Ah yeah, well, they probably earned it. They probably deserved it. But, uh, when a game just says, like, constantly, hey, go, you know, here's some side missions to do, I go check them out. The only side missions I haven't really done at this time are some of the ones that are left over from slum, uh, from the slums that were more like the uh, really super fetch questy. Uh, where I had to just, like, accumulate things. Find the lavender herbs. Uh, where was the other one? Get bandages and maids for Toygar. I, eh. <laughs> I didn't. I, those aren't like on priority. But most of the side missions in this game are actually the kind I like, where there's a little bit of a story to it, and sometimes even really significant <laughs> rewards. Like I'm really happy that I got uh, the Angel Sword blueprint and the God Hammer blueprint. These are going to be awesome, <laughs> because I haven't really been hunting down the blueprints, because apparently there are, like, tons of them on the map, and that's... Yeah. I wish you could... One thing that this game kind of lacks is buying a map. That's something I've gotten really used to uh, in open-world games lately, where at some point in the game, you can go, I would really like to buy a map. <laughs> <laughs> so I can just find things significantly easier if I do want to bother to try and get them all. And so, that was kind of sort of a surprise, but it's not like, a, it's not a bad thing. There are people out there who want to find things on their own by just exploring the world. That's not me, or some stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna hunt down the flags. I either find them, or I don't. But if they are, if I got a map for it, then maybe, maybe I'd be like, hmm. Maybe I will go gather it since it's nearby. That's just kind of me, I suppose. But yeah, I'm glad this game has a bunch of side missions that are worth it. Oh boy. Can I breathe? Ugh. This isn't that bad. 
They're talking about it as if it was gonna be like the longest swim I've ever done, ever. Oh god. So what the hell happened here? Has it been flooded forever? Or is it more of a recent thing? Because there's a little bit of... Guts and sewage all around the place? And it just seems weird. <laughs> that the place is flooded like this. But who knows, maybe it's an old structure. And the water formed here on its own. Uh, is this... Ah! This is the armory! Lovely! <laughs> it's just right here immediately, so how much stuff is there for me to nab? Here's a blueprint. Flap clap! The fuck is a flap clap? It is a... Blue... Blueprint. What the hell? That makes me sad. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe that goes to show you maybe what they were expecting people to do. What's going on here? Oh. Uh. Well, this is weird. <laughs> oh, here's a door! Hey, I wonder what it's gonna lock to! Nothing. Oh, just destroyed hallway. Anyways. I can't also shake the feeling that maybe we kind of rushed leveling up. The music's making me paranoid. <laughs> but we're pretty we're pretty high up there. Although I've, I've seen plenty of comments that go, yeah, Gum, by the time I got to the old town, I was maxed out on everything. And I'm like, wow, you must have spent a lot of time in the slums. Holy shit. I figured I just spent a whole bunch of time there. But I don't know. It's like, they gave they give me blueprints that are blue at some point. And I'm like, okay, I'm way past that point. And so, there's a little bit of a scaling problem in the main story versus, like, doing the side content, I guess. Because, like, by the time you unlock some of the side missions and you complete them, you get an orange blueprint. So how come at that same point, I get really shitty other things? <laughs> it's weird. But we're gonna just keep on unlocking this stuff. I'm happy I've got a pretty good amount of things. Although, apparently, there is also a, um... Apparently, as you level up, some of the weapons don't pop up as much, or don't pop up at all inside the shops. And I think that would explain how come I have really not really had like a lot of the weapons I've, I, I've wanted. I like blunt weapons, and I've been getting a ton of blade weapons. You know, there just really aren't that many like... I don't, I don't care about sledgehammers though. I, I, I want a crowbar, I want a, I want a pick! And they have just slowly just not been there, which is a little... Odd, considering some of these blueprints apply to them, right? Let's see, we have a pickaxe, we have a small hammer. Eh. I've seen mods that actually add the weapons back in. And I was tempted to get them, but I think for now, I'm fine. I'll play with what the game's got to give me. Jade's being held hostage at the museum. The choice is the place was originally built as a fortress, and now it's Rice's biggest outpost in Sector Zero. I gotta get in there before Jade gets hurt, or killed, or worse. Well, see, he wanted to get her for the arena. So either he's getting her to pay back, or he's gonna try and do what she, he wanted with her anyways. Make her fight for him. Alright, so let me just make sure I have everything I need ready. Reload my police rifle, because if I run into Rice's men, it's gonna be a big shootout. Uh, okay, so let me just be ready. I, I always- I keep forgetting that my medieval longsword is currently my lowest damage thing. But I just like using it. I do like using the sword. <laughs> a good bit. Especially because it acts like a one-handed somehow. Okay. Maybe this is the long swim he was talking about. Ugh. Hey buddy, nice to see you're bleeding out fresh here. <laughs> Listen to the music. Oh shit. Look at like my stamina or that little yellow orange bar down there. I guess that's my oxygen. Ugh. It's playing all this music like, oh my god, look at all the bodies that are floating. But man, I have seen worse. <laughs> I already have. Oh, so, see, that wasn't too bad either. They really should have extended the swim a little bit. So you would really kind of be panicking like, oh shit, I'm almost about to drown. Oh no. 
But I guess it wasn't really meant to be like, hey, here's one long continuous thing of you almost drowning. It's more of just, here's a bunch of swimming, here's a bunch of floating dead bodies. Spooky and creepy, huh? Ugh. What? You know, if I was a dev, <laughs> I think I've said that a lot in this, but if I was a dev, I would have made a swimming zombie. Just for this part. A mutated swimming zombie. This is where I would have introduced it to really freak people out. I know you can't fight back in the water, so that would actually kind of be frustrating and probably really sucky. But it would also be terrifying. You can even just make it so it's behind some of the fences, locked off fences where it can't get to us, but we can see it and it scares the shit out of us. And then it gets introduced to the world and we have to go in the future, go, oh shit, there's a swimming zombie down there. I need to shoot it from above. That would just be really interesting. Okay. So is this the way to the museum? Oh God. My lungs. That wasn't that bad. I mean, I know it was probably a good solid amount of minutes. Oh, we're fine. Ooh, okay. Alright. Just wanted to skip a little bit of the climb, you know? Ugh, oh, fire. fuck! Again, with the zombiness and the just turning. I like how we haven't had any amount of Andes in this entire time. Since we got Troy, to Oat Town, you know? I hear you. I'm in. That was the easiest part of this. You realize that, right? You really suck at pep talks, Troy. <laughs> Not my job, but good luck. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me just get this agility. When we have brutal grapple, reversal, tic tac. Still a bunch of really good things here. I guess I could go for- God, I just want all these. We're so low level on agility in comparison to everything else. Alright, Brutal Grapple. They'll throw people to the ground if, if they dare fuck with me. <laughs> I sure hope no one hears me busting down everything. You're exhausted. You cannot use your grappling hook. What?! When was this a thing that got applied? <laughs> Okay, I guess. You're turning into a zombie, you just don't want to use a grappling hook. Uh oh. Man, you guys are fucked up. Well, I'm gonna steal food from people. Whoa, wow! Look what I got you. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. You can stop spazzing out towards me now. I had to debate with myself what I wanted to use there. Do I want to cut them up with a windmill attack, or do I want to shoot them in the back of their heads? I figured the axe would be better. Alright! We're technically still going through the front door here. I mean, at least this feels like it would be the front door. See how it's kind of towards the streets? Yeah. Uh-oh. We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand, too! Your choice! You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first! Attack! Move it, boys! Move it! Oh, shit! 
I thought they were gonna send zombies after me, but people work too! Here's a present for you. Oh, they're throwing grenades at me! Ha! Huh. Shit, I do not like the positioning I have. <laughs> this glass is really thick. You know... Oh, jeez. I really just want to headshot you guys! But apparently you got really thick helmets this time around. Oh, not that guy, though. Sent in for the attack, but just doesn't deserve to have... ...a thick head, I suppose. Is that the best you got, Rise? I could do this all fucking day! I could! Honestly. Oh, jeez. They're above me! I was actually gonna start melee attacking them. Oh, hi! I'm so glad I have 84 medkits! Because otherwise I'd be sitting there going, Oh my god, I have no help. Uh, they're shooting me. Uh. Poor Jay. She's so lonely without you. Who cares? We are like that. She hates me. I got her lover killed. And her brother, technically. Although the brother more or less got himself killed, so that's not really my fault. Oh, I still can't use the grappling hook. <laughs> you can climb, you can fight, but you, you can't fling your arm out and just, like, ride along with the wind. Come on. Let's dance! <laughs> wow, I fucked him up so hard, he just immediately disintegrated. Awesome. <laughs> Ooh, a shield! I wonder if this is effective... ...against... ...everything else. Actually, no, hold on. Let me do this. We're gonna take the speed boost. Do so it's out of my inventory. And <laughs> things are gonna be really interesting. Let's murder some Arisa's men with melee. Oh, okay, or not. I wish I could get bullet time. Come on. She won't wait for you forever. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna be fine. I'm a little bit worried about life. And about what's gonna end up happening to me. But I'm sure I'll live. Or become a zombie after everything I need to complete is done. Oh, no, you don't! Jay is dying to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's dying to see you. Get it? Because I said she's dying. <laughs> I'm sorry! Can't hear you well! Too busy slaughtering all of your men! Just gonna heal. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright. Can I block bullets? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how amazing! Okay, I've learned something very new today. Let's be on standby for the instant reversals. Which none, we didn't have to do any of it at all. Hello! <laughs> Oh, this actually has durability. Oh, maybe I shouldn't abuse it too much. Okay. Uh... Hey guys, go for the firecracker. Good. Now explode. Kaboosh! <laughs> There's still someone alive? Oh, look at that! What a trooper! Ooh, everything's just falling down. Okay. There we go. Not now. No, oh, again. Please, not now. This is not working out. I really need to take like a shot of antizin or some shit. Jade. Oh shit. Oh shit. What have they done I'm to you? Fine, Crane. To hear knocked me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just give me a minute. 
Oh, I'll be right as rain. You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, what little time you have, you owe to me. Thanks to your repair of my antennas, Crane, I've listened to every word any of you have said. Shit. How do you suppose I found you, Miss Aldemir? Or the good Dr. Camden? How do you think I broke the connection between the sectors? I am the director of this film. And now that I have Zera's research, the GRE will do as I command them, which renders the two of you useless. Tahir! Uh, what is he doing? He oh, shit! Okay, yeah, but this is a force situation. Consider this a character strengthening exercise. I really want to throw a trap bomb, but she's kind of sitting next to the people, so... We're just gonna windmill the group away! Yeah! We're Come capable on, of fighting out. out. She doesn't look too well. Ugh. You know, I can totally see her dying. I really can. I wouldn't surprise me in the least. If she succumbs to being a zombie... Or she gets shot. Oh, Jade, are, Jade, are you hurt? Did, they didn't bite you, did they? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just give me a second. She does look like she has a bite on the leg. Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from you. Biter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. Once again, you find yourself with a choice, Crane. Your precious scorpion is about to turn, but so are you. Who will receive the antasy? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Yeah, Crane will choose Jade. Jade here, you take this. No. no, come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane, I just want you to promise me one thing. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. What? No, I... Promise me! Jade, I, I Oh, what? Uh-oh. Jade, I can't fight. Jade, everything's going bad. If you're gonna give me the fucking answers, then you need to do it now. Crane. Crane, can you hear me? Jade, where are you? Jade? Am I tripping balls? Am I following her into nothing? Am I just running around? I need you to hear me, Crane. Jade? I'm gonna follow the exit signs because usually they lead to getting out. Yeah, look at that. Crane. Crane, can you hear me? Yes. What the? Am I back where I started? What the fuck? Okay, exit signs don't lead to safety. Jade, where are you? Jade? This is bad. She should have just shot me with the antizin. And that's it. Like, when I'm like, oh god, I can't do much. Boom, that's the moment. Maybe this is just the wrong area. I need you to hear me, Crane. Damn it, Jade, I hear you! Oh. No, you wanted to try and save me. Not everybody would have offered that vial the way you did. Oh, fuck. So we can definitely safely it's save this shit's not real. Now. It's too late for me. What, well, do you forgive me about a mirror? Oh, shit! Wow, I can't believe that happened. I am not a fan of this. Hey, look, there's a kid down there. Hey, kid! Don't worry, you're safe from the infection because you're just gonna float around and die from everything else. Okay, where am I going? Am I gonna go along the tables? All right. For a while, I blamed you for Amir's death. I wanted to kill you. Don't you still blame me for Amir's death? I mean, you gave me a picture of him. But I realized it was time for Amir. 
It was time for him to go. No, it just really sucked because he didn't fight back hard enough. Look, man, you could have just used your gun to shoot the people. It's technically your fault, too. But I'm not trying to start anything with you. Oh! Oh, it's fire. Everybody's life is finite, Crane. You can't deny it. It's pointless. You're not making me feel better about anything. You suck at pep talks, too, honestly. Ugh. Um... Okay. We have zombies taking a lesson! Again? Okay. That... was... a jump I should have made. <laughs> I was also holding space, so I should have just grabbed onto the edge. Eh. There we go. Jade, please! We get here, and eventually we die. And there's nothing we can do to change that. Oh shit! Is that a zombie? No? Okay. I don't know why she's giving me the, uh, hey, it's okay if everyone dies. That's what happens in the end speech. Because I've seen plenty of people killed. So, it's not like I need an acceptance lesson. Not now. Actually, Dan is in, honestly. The only thing we can do is make what happens in between count. I'm just waiting for the point to actually be fully put around. I did not notice the upside down highway above me. Okay. Jade, if you're gonna die. I'm really sorry. Save these people. They don't deserve all of this. Sarah? Oh, oh stomach. Oh. Okay, all right, fine. Do you want me to admit I feel slightly bad about things? I do. Amir's life counted, and now he's gone. Rahim's life counted, and now he's gone. And Zeri's life counted, and he's gone too. And this is all very sad. If my life means saving everyone in Haram, then that's what I want to do. Uh, uh. Oh my god! No, not this again! Oh, oh god. I. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what was about to happen there. I thought I was just gonna fly inside the gauge. Jade, look, you don't have to sacrifice yourself, honestly. I could find some answers in somewhere else. I mean, not in this fucking state. What the hell am I talking about? Don't take that away from me, Craig. Okay? Fine. I won't take it away from you. I was born premature. The doctors didn't think I was going to live. But I fought. I struggled, and I fought, and I worked, and worked, and worked. This is, uh, inspiring? I became, I became the Scorpion. I left my mark on the world. Well, I became the Crane. I was born as the Crane. And I've helped it's out tons of people. Now, crane. You can't save me. You've got to let me save you. Let me save you. I don't even know if she's giving me a speech or if I'm making a mental image of her in my head, giving her a speech of herself. But I didn't know about the information about the premature birth, so... Maybe she's not. Okay, where am I heading? <laughs> we jumped across the poles. Maybe this way? Oh, it's a zip line! <laughs> uh, but I was spamming space, so it made me let go of it. Eh. I don't typically try to go to zip lines that are on fire, but eh, uh, logic's kind of out of the window at the moment, isn't it? Get the door open, Amir! Uh, God, please, not now. Uh. Oh, 
Oh no. God damn it, no, don't let me do this! Oh no. Oh god, Jade, what was that? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. One of us has to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this, and still you had your choice made for you. Disappointing, Crane. You, you, you and you, get in there and kill them. Holy shit! Oh! Oh no! That is the natural order of things, Crane. Kill or be killed. Eat or be eaten. Shit, man. Hey, look, I'm not very happy right now. I have to fight. I have to take you out for Jade. whole world's about to turn to shit. The only problem is they don't have any of my supplies. But I have my abilities. Super dodge! All right. You think you can take me on? You're partially right. I really, I'm not used to fighting people and actually having to, you know, take them on. I usually have plenty of other supplies, stronger weapons that can kill them immediately, health packs to get all my health back. I gotta play conservatively. Okay. All right. Is rise. You will never know, boy. So Tell me where he's going. It is not for you to seek out rise. It's totally for me to seek when out he rise. You, he will find you himself. I am so mad about this shit. Mad about rice? I'm mad about Jade dying. Oh! That was unfortunate. <laughs> oh my god! He hit the extinguisher and it just killed me immediately. There was nothing I could do about that. So, anyways, your belongings have been taken from you. Look for them in your stash. How did they get taken from me? <laughs> when more than likely Jade was like right in front of me talking to me the entire time. <laughs> it's not like I had my shit taken to me and then we encountered Jade, you know? Yeah! This is more like it! This is a weapon that I can use to exterminate your life to here. 700 damage? Let's do this! Look at that. Jade lost her life for this thing. It's just lying on the floor. I guess Rice must have dropped it when he was trying not to get shot, huh? Shit, this is just the tissue samples. Where's the other package? Go to hell, Crane. Wow, Tahir. You know, you're looking pretty fucked up, huh? 
Yeah, those don't look like the kinds of wounds you recover from. So, then kill me. No, no, I shouldn't. I should just leave you here to suffer. That's what you deserve. Yes, then why don't you? Because you're not the kind of loose end you leave untied. Mm. Uh... Huh. Troy, it's Crane. Crane? You're alive. Troy, Jade... Jade's dead. Oh... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry, Crane. I, I mean it. What happened? Rise. He... He forced us to... Jade saved my life, Troy. Again. She died... Saving me. Crane, you've still got to call off the Ministry. That's why Jade sacrificed herself, so you could do this. So you could save the rest of us. Is Savvy there? Has he figured out how to get a message through? Yes, but to do it, you need to meet me. I have to give you an amplifier that Savvy says can help us break through the signal jamming. I'll wait for you in the safe zone. Halfway to the antenna, we'll you'll need to mount the amp. Okay, Troy. On my way. I don't know how to feel about things at the moment. We just lost Jade, who I didn't care about too much because, let's be honest, she hasn't been around for the entire- She hasn't really been around for the story. If they had showed her a little bit more, I would have cared. It's just like Raheem. Raheem died, and Crane was really torn up about it, and I'm just like, I He's your best friend in the entire area, but you hardly knew him? I don't know. <laughs> you know? <sighs> but it does sufficiently make me really angry about Rice's existence. Hey, friend. No. I'm glad you guys are guarding my stuff for me! How would you like this machete to go into your face?! Or how about Tahir's weapon? Ooh. Oh, it's not even all that good. I was excited for a second, I'm like, ooh, maybe this will be really great. Nope. <laughs> the other items were better. Uh, do you want to restore your inventory? Yes. <laughs> I quite like what I've got over here. Ah, uh, now I can get back to killing things, effectively. 